Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we will be continuing the discussion with respect to automating web scrapping using this particular library which is called as Auto Scrapper. And I have already made two specific videos on this. One is automatic web scrapping Amazon e-commerce website. And uh, I had actually also shown you with the help of scrapping GitHub repositories and all. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to combine this Auto Scrapper and the Flask and we'll try to create an API and that api will work something like this now suppose if i go into the amazon website and if i still search for headphones so i'm able to get all the specific information right i'm able to get this now what if if i create an api where i just put this uh, just this keyword and we get the entire information from this amazon.in website so let me just show you suppose i go over here i just go and write something like iphone okay and i'll just go and search it so here you'll be able to see that we will be getting this entire result. And if I go take this particular information and probably open my JSON link, which is just like a JSON validator. If I validate this here, you'll be able to see the entire JSON data. Now here I'm able to get the price and title. This basically means that this is an API and this API has been created with the help of flask and the internally what library we have used. We have used something called as auto scrapper. Now, suppose if I go and write over here as headphones, okay. So here I'll be searching something like this and here I'll be able to get the entire information, right? And again, if I go and just validate this, you'll be able to see that, yes, it will be successfully validating. Now, one question when, which people usually ask uh, from this, can we get this images also? Okay, guys, I'm just trying it out. Don't worry. I have found out a way to actually get the URL of this particular link also. Okay. So probably in the next video, I'll try to show you how you can get the URL also and how you can get the images also. So I'm exploring of, on this specific library because there were so many questions that were put by many people. Now we will try to develop this, this kind of APIs, how we will develop that we are going to see. And obviously we required Flask. So let's go ahead towards the code and we'll try to develop this entire thing so that you search anything, you'll be able to get this kind of JSON and you will be able to use it, right? So that basically means I can now create a search engine there you just have to go and write a topic like search this particular keyword and it will be able to extract this entire information. Again, the front end part, you can do it guys. I'm not that good at front end, but at least I've created the API part. Now let's go ahead over here and let's go to our code. Now inside the code, we have to develop two important files. One is the Amazon search.py. Remember here, I just have to give the URL, the template URL, which URL it is. And then I have to give what all information I need to pick up. One is my, and this I have already discussed in my previous video. One is the price and one is the new Apple iPhone, which is basically my title. Then I'll go and build this auto scrapper. Then I'll say auto scrapper dot build Amazon URL wanted list. These are the two important information that I want to really get. So guys, one, I need to get the price information and the other one that I really need to get is basically the title. Then I'm just going to create an object of auto scrapper. Then we are going to build this. And then we are going to say get underscore result similar. Then we have done group is equal to true, right? And then we are assigning some groups. Now, remember if you are executing for the first time, this will be a unique group. So please make sure that you assign this particular group properly. And this, I had actually taken the same code, which I had actually explained to you over here, right? Uh, automating web scrapping Amazon e-commerce website using auto scrapper. So the same code I have actually used, you just go and open this GitHub link and probably you'll be able to see this particular code over here. Okay. Nothing different, same thing. And then what I have to do again, go over here and I have to go and just save this as Amazon search. When I save this here, you'll be able to see one file that will be created. This file, see this, this entire file will get created guys, which is my Amazon search file. And I'm going to load this specific file for my further uh, scrapping process. Okay. Always please make sure that you have this particular file with you. Okay. Now this is first of the file that we created from our Amazon underscore search dot py. If you want to really understand how we did this, just follow this specific video. I'll give the link in the description. Okay. Now main comes that how we are going to do the flask installation. Okay. Basically, we don't want to create the API itself, right? And uh, we want to use auto scrapper. Now, first of all, in order to install flask, we obviously know how to install it. We just have to write pip install flask. Now let's go and develop this. We will break this code step by step guys into many functions. Now, first of all, I hope everybody knows how, what this is. I'm importing flask. I'm importing auto scrapper, 
I'm importing this request library. Request basically means whenever I'm doing some kind of post because I will be searching some terms and it will go to the search engine and it will give you the some specific response, right? So that is the reason why we are using this request. When I'm posting a search term, I should be able to get that particular search term, okay? Then I am uh, using this auto scrapper class again. Then this is very, very much important guys. Here I'm writing Amazon underscore scrapper dot load Amazon search. This basically means that this Amazon search, which is just like my model file, I'm going to first of all load this because this actually knows the template, the entire information, how it needs to be picked up. So always remember you need to have this particular file. So I'm telling for the first time, what you do is that when you are executing this, make sure that you write the proper rule name because every time when you execute this, the rule name will change. So for the first time you need to set this and you need to save this as Amazon search. Okay. Very, very important guys. Let me just execute and show it to you once again. Okay. If you want, really want, otherwise just check the information that is given in my previous video. This specific video is very, very much important. It will actually show you how to set up that. Okay. So let me go over here. I'm not going to do it. And again, it will get extended. The video will get extended, which I don't want to do that. Then I'm actually creating my flask app name. Now understand which all important information I have. This is my first information. Get underscore Amazon underscore result. Okay. Then I have definition aggregate result. Okay. And then I have this app route slash. Let's go one by one. Now, first of all, I will just write this. If underscore underscore name is equal to un underscore underscore main that basically from this point, the execution will happen. Now, when we say app dot run, this is my first app route. That is slash. This is my root. Here I've given as search underscore API function. This will be a get request. That basically means uh, when I'm posting something, like I want to search for the headphones information. So I'll write the query as headphones. When I write that query as headphones, this particular method will try to gather that specific query. Okay, what query I'm actually searching, that will be done with the help of this request library. So request.arch.get of Q, Q will have that particular query name whatever query information that, uh, that I'm actually searching for, that information will be coming out from this particular uh, line of code. Then I'm writing print query, okay, obviously to check what query it is. And then here you'll be able to see that return dictionary. And here I'm saying that result get underscore Amazon underscore result. I'm calling this particular function. Now, where is this particular function? This function is somewhere here. And the parameter that I'm going to give is query. Okay, whatever query I'm searching for. Now this query will be assigned to this particular URL. How did I get this particular URL? Just go and see over here. Suppose if I'm searching for something like headphone. So this particular query is added in front of this specific URL. So I've taken this entire URL. I've copied and pasted in my code over here. Right? So here is my entire query. Okay, pretty much simple. Then I am saying get underscore result underscore similar. What is this particular function doing? This function based on the group, whatever group information we have kept, like group underscore by underscore alias is equal to true. Based on that groupings, whatever there is there in this specific file, Amazon dash search file, you know. So the grouping techniques, what all information I need to take out, like price, like title, that all configuration is set up in this particular file. So it is going to take out this particular information. The URL will be given in this. And then we try to call this aggregate result. Aggregate result will do nothing guys. It will try to format your data properly. Okay. So it is just saying that for I in range, because I'm going to get many prices, many title, right? So in all those prices and title one by one, I'm going to put this in this specific list. Okay. So just try to understand this particular code. This is basically the function, which is just aggregating the code. Okay pretty much simple, pretty much easy. So let's execute it from starting. So I'm just going to stop this. Okay. First of all, let's go to my Amazon search. Now we know that initially what I'm going to do quickly is that I am going to just say, I'm going to remove this. Okay. And I'm just going to execute this first of all. So let me just execute. You can do the execution by two ways. Uh, if it is in spider, either you do it with uh, Python uh, with the Anaconda prompt directly, or here you can select and you can just execute shift enter. When you do shift enter, everything will get executed. Now see, I am printing this particular Amazon URL group is equal to true. Now when I write like this, so here the groups will get created and every time it will be unique guys. See this over here on the right hand side, these groups are created. So let me do one thing. 
let me write the group first of all this price information is having this group so i'm just going to set up this particular group okay and then probably the next information is my title information so title information is basically having this group see this is my title and here i'm actually getting the entire group so i'll just copy and paste it with respect to the title over here that's it i need to save this and then i need to save this price information like this because these are the important information that i really want to get and then you execute this entire scrapper.save when you save this this file will get created okay so this is the first step now coming to this particular uh, flash search.py and now going to execute this entire code remember the host is given as 0.0.0, .0. this by default actually takes up uh, 127 point that is your local host and then you always need to remember what query you are giving you're giving the query with the name q okay so let's execute this quickly so this has got executed successfully now let me go to my page here let's search for uh, probably i want to search for uh, 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 you just tell me which all things you want to search iphone i have tried headphones i have tried let's search for mi phones okay so i'm just going to execute it this is the information of mi phones that i've got i'm just going to copy this entire thing and then I'm going to validate it over here. Okay. So if I do the validation, see the validation is coming perfectly right. And now here I've got how many results with respect to the price, with respect to the title, all this information are perfectly over here to given, right? Yes, you can take out any information. You can take out reviews. You can take out anything that you want. Yes, about the URL and the image, I will definitely be uploading another video. Now let's search for something else. I want to search for Alexa. Okay. So here is my Alexa. Perfect. I've got all the information over here with respect to Alexa. Now I can validate this. Okay. Probably let me just uh, do one thing. I can validate this, right? I can validate this. It's, it's perfect. I'm getting all this particular information. Try with respect to any products. Now you have created a search engine, which will actually help you to find out the title, the price. And yes, one more information it had like URL. It would be pretty much amazing. And for URL, we have to do some kind of tricky thing, which I'll actually show you in my next video. Okay. But search for anything apart from that. Like I want to search for uh, Google Home. Okay. So search for Google Home. Now here you're getting Google Home information again. Every time make sure that you validate it because now you're able to get this in your JSON format. Now, once you get into your JSON profile, store this information entirely into the uh, Amazon, uh, sorry, into your database. You can understand guys by this, you know, you can also create a startup, which will probably send an email to a customer whenever the prices are down, right? Suppose a customer shows his interest on buying an iPhone and he says that when the price of this particular iPhone comes down, probably at that time we can send an email to him and probably earn a commission from this Amazon products. A lot of things can be done guys. This is just an idea that have come into mind, but this is just like a, a you know uh, uh, uh api services that i've actually created now one assignment that i want to give it to you just create a front end guys create a search button okay uh create a search text box go and write the text over there and just submit it and try to get this particular information try to populate in the front end ui whoever is good at uh, in the ui itself and once you get the answer please do make sure that you send it to me i'll probably represent that in my next video and uh, also give you the entire credits for doing this. So I hope you like this particular video. Try it with different, different search. Yeah, you will, you'll be able to get some amazing results. So I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you and all. Bye-bye guys.